What is going on, everybody? It is Wednesday, which means it's time for our weekly EP and album selections of the week. Man, uh, dude, I got some really cool fucking bands in here for you today, but two of which I really, really, really enjoy. Uh, We're going to go into the world of Gent today a little bit. Uh, First of all, we're going to play an EP by a band I really like. It's not really even a band. It's more like a project that's kind of turning into a band slowly, but... uh, some of you guys might know who Ain't Up Sastry is, and there's this EP that I have loved. It's like a four-track EP, but God damn it, it's so good, and it's called Titan. Titan is the shit. I'm sorry, but this is like one of the best Gent EPs. That's an instrumental that I've heard in a very long time, uh, and the only band I know that can even remotely compete is Intervals. And if you're not familiar with Intervals, I seriously, seriously implore you, go learn who the fuck Intervals is. So... This is what we're going to do. We're going to play Titan, the full EP stream, from beginning to the end. It's 23 minutes. Then, there's another band I want to talk about called Tribal. And they have their self-titled full EP, which is really more of an album than an EP, because it's like 35 minutes. But, let's be realistic here. Uh, these bands are fucking dope as shit. Now, Tribal is very, very heavily influenced by Meshuga. Um... You will be able to tell this like immediately in their guitar tones, uh, in the way their their drums are set up, uh, and their production. Uh, they are absolutely fucking brutal. Uh, I love these guys. Tribal's the shit. Uh, if you don't have the self-titled album, dude, go get this motherfucker. It is badass. Uh, check out Tribal. They're on Bandcamp, tribal.bandcamp.com. Um, you can check them out on YouTube, which is actually uh, where you can you can also listen to this stream anytime. Um, Again, if you don't know who Tribal is, go check them out. They're on Bandcamp, they're on YouTube, they're on Twitter, they're all over social media. Make sure you go out there and support these independent artists. So, I gotta talk about something real quick before we get into this music shit. Um, And it really comes down from other professionals that you work with in the industry. Now, as we all know, uh, you guys know who I am. You know I'm a CEO of a radio network. Now, that being said... There are people we deal with, like models and actors and actresses and other bands, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But something I really, really want to touch on today that I saw when I woke up on Facebook, and this is just a prime example of how not to act as a professional. We're going to talk about models for just a moment, okay? Especially models in like the metal industry and the community here. Now, as we know, through metal bands in the community, we have a lot, and I mean a lot, of models that work with us in the community. A lot of gothic models, metalhead models, punker, emo girls, you get the idea. Well, I literally saw this today. I'm not even going to shit you guys, but I literally saw this. And I'm not even going to I'm not even going to fucking hide her name. I'm going to put her ass on blast. Her name is Raven Black, and she is not that great of a model, and that's a, that's right off the bat where I'm going to start. First of all, this bitch has such an ego. Now, I I can't even really compute in my brain how big of an ego she has because she's so self-absorbed. It's fucking sickening. But she posted on her Facebook this morning that if you don't do anything for her or you're not her real friend in real life or you have never worked with her before, that you need to get the fuck up off her friends list and blah, 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 because she only has room for people in the elite fields of her profession. Really, bitch? Really? First of all, 
You're a fucking mediocre model. You're not even really a model. You only fucking model because you're desperate and you beg everybody for photo shoots. On top of that, you cancel your photo shoots with real photographers a lot, and they don't want to fuck with you. As a matter of fact, you have a really, really bad reputation for that, and most people don't even want to work with you. On top of that, you double book artists all the time and act like that's okay, like it's not insulting to the photographer. That's totally fucking insulting to the photographer and their time and their work, you unappreciative fucking cunt. For real, this is the type of shit, people, that will make you fuck yourself. When you say shit like this to people, you might not think at first that it's such a bad idea to try to weed out, quote unquote, uh, the people you don't want on your friends list. However... What you don't realize is that there are people like me who will offer you work randomly and might offer you an opportunity randomly because we see your work online, because we see what you're doing. And most of the time when I offer work to people and I get them hooked up with a photographer for a shoot and they make three, four, five hundred dollars for getting shot, okay, they have to understand this is a professional, a professional level of how you work together. You don't go out of your way to fucking say ignorant things like that and cut yourself out of opportunities. Because saying shit like that is insulting to people like me. I don't work with you right, but I, I, maybe I might work with you. Maybe I might give you an opportunity one day. Maybe I might message you and go, hey, I've seen your work. You're a humble person. You have a really good view and perspective of how you do your work. Maybe you can come over here and do a little work with me and make a little coin. But you got to say some ignorant ass, egotistical, self-absorbed bullshit like that. That makes people like me completely turned off to working with cunts like you. So that being said, if you're a model or you're somebody in the industry and you're in a position where you're trying to get work, trying to get exposure, trying to get out there, trying to have a career, do not slit your own throat by saying stupid shit like this on your Facebook to the people, promoters, booking agents, and other fucking people in the industry that work around you and with you. Because all you do is piss everybody off. This girl that I'm talking about, she's actually local uh, to the Missouri area where we broadcast. And she really, really has it convinced in her head that she's some A-class model. The girl's a, she's overweight, okay? She's a little overweight for a model. Sorry, that's just not going to sell you a whole lot of work. Uh, which there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the weight of a lady or how she looks. As long as she's comfortable in her own skin, that's all that matters. But in the industry, that totally fucking matters. So, sorry, but reality is, you are not A-class material. You are not shooting with high-class photographers. You are not making big moves. You do not have big people standing behind you. Stop acting like you're 20 feet fucking tall. You ain't shit. Get fucking humble. If you want to fucking go far in this industry, you got to stay humble. The moment you start thinking that you're some A-class motherfucker and you're mediocre at best is the moment you've committed career suicide. So I'm just going to put this bitch on blast. She is a fucking joke. Sorry, you're a shitty model, you're a shitty person, and you're not going to go anywhere. And I want everyone to know that this is the type of shit that makes people like me not work with people like her And other people like that in the industry. So you're trying to break out and be a model or artist or whatever. Stay humble. Unless you're in a position where you're like the CEO of a company. Or you own a record label. Or any of that shit. Like me. Where you can sit here and talk as much shit as you want. And it doesn't fucking matter. Because you own your shit. You do not need to be fucking opening your mouth and inserting foot. That's not a fucking good strategy. And that's all I'm saying. So I'm not going to continue on this rant too much longer. I just wanted to say, hey, if you're an artist in the industry, be humble. Don't be a self-absorbed fucking dumbass. Don't say ignorant shit like that. Don't insult the people that may or may not offer you opportunities for your career. Be real. Be respectful be humble. And that's my message for the day. Let's just start it off with that. Again, I don't really mean to go off on the stupid bullshit rant, but damn it, people like that really need to understand. You cannot put yourself out there in such a negative way, but act at the same time as if it's no big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. You just don't care. That's why you're a fucking loser with no real work. You want your career to soar? then it fucking put forth the effort and respect to make it soar. And that's my message for you guys for the day. So, that being said, let's get back into our original plan here. 
and play a couple fucking albums, shall we? First off, again, we have some Ain't Up Say Street with my favorite EP they've ever put out, and it's called Titan. It is an amazing fucking little EP, and for 23 minutes, it is bucking baller. If you don't know who Ain't Up Say Street is, you're going to love this fucking album. Coming up after that, we got Tribal with the full self-title, and that is a badass fucking album. Again, a very heavily mashuga influenced band, so let's dive on in right now, shall we? You're listening to The Pit, and this is Ain't Up Say Street, Titan, the full EP stream from beginning to end right now. <laughs> 